Hello, I am Ashley Fish, a surface pattern designer and watercolour artist from New Zealand and today I am going to share with you how I like to scale my repeating patterns. So the first thing that I do is I've already made the pattern and this is the repeating tile here and I'm going to right click and open with Photoshop. It then opens here and what I'm going to do next is in this pattern window over to your right, I'm going to click the plus and it will add it into my patterns. If you don't see this window, what you can do is go up to window, come down and click patterns. And mine has a tick because it's already over here, but if it doesn't have a tick, click it and it should show up in this panel. So when I click the plus, it will come up with a pattern name. So you can name it what you want click OK and then here it is with the blue line around it. Now if I click plus for a new layer, let me turn this background layer off and I'm still selected on layer one here, I can click the pattern and it fills the square exactly. But if you want to scale it smaller, say you want this for an Instagram post, I'm going to double click in here and then come up to scale and I might pop in 50%. And you'll see that this is scaled smaller so you can scale it whatever percent you want this way you can do a drop down and you can drag it to scale it as well but I prefer to just type in here the percentage that I want you can also turn it um, on an angle so if it's facing the wrong way for what I want I could put in 90 degrees and it has flipped it to 90 degrees for me. So just go back to zero if you want it the way up that you have created it. So I'm going to click OK. And then you can now use this pattern for Instagram as an example and it doesn't show exactly where the, the repeat is. One last thing to show you is that if you click on the pattern here, you can drag, click and drag it around to be in the exact position that you want it to be in. Uh, this is maybe more obvious with a different pattern. Let's see, um, I have a Halloween one here, which is too big. So I'm going to double click and bring it down to, let's say 20%. And then say I want this pumpkin to be in the middle, I can click and drag it down like this. Um, or maybe offset it a bit. So there's lots of options to play with of how you can fill it and this is also how I make my salad sheets for my portfolio and make sure the pattern is exactly where I want it to go. I hope that has been really helpful for you. Any questions please send me an email, reach out on Instagram or leave a comment below and I will get back to you.